everyone. I'm so glad that I was able to be here today and spend some time with you. Um, I have a very special book that I'm going to be reading. It's actually one of my favorites, and it's called The Giving Tree, and it's by Shel Silverstein. All right. All right. So once there was a tree, and she loved a little boy. And every day, the little boy would come. And he would gather her leaves and make them into crowns and play king of the forest. He would climb up her trunk and swing from her branches and eat apples. And they would also play hide and go seek. And when he was tired, he would sleep in her shade. And the boy loved the tree. He loved the tree very much, and the tree was happy. But time went by, and the boy grew older, and the tree was often alone. Then one day, the boy came to the tree, and the tree said, come boy, come and climb up my tree and swing from my branches and eat apples and play in the shade and be happy. I am too big to climb and play, said the boy. I want to buy things and have fun. I want some money. Can you give me some money? I'm sorry, said the tree, but I have no money. I have only leaves and apples. Take my apples, boy, and sell them in the city. You will have money and you will be happy. And so the boy climbed up the tree and gathered her apples and carried them away. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time and the tree was sad. And then one day, the boy came back, and the tree shook with joy. And she said, come, boy, climb up my trunk and swing from my branches and be happy. I am too busy to climb trees, said the boy. I want a house to keep me warm, he said. I want a wife, and I want children, and so I need a house. Can you give me a house? I have no house, said the tree. The forest is my house, but you may cut off my branches and build a house. Then you will be happy. And so the boy cut off her branches and carried them away to build his house. And the tree was happy. But the boy stayed away for a long time again. And when he came back, the tree was so happy she could hardly speak. Come boy, she whispered, come and play. I am too old and sad to play, said the boy. I want a boat that will take me far away from here. Can you give me a boat? Cut down my trunk and make a boat, said the tree. Then you can sail away and then you will be happy. And so the boy cut down her trunk and made a boat and sailed away. And the tree was happy, but not really happy. And after a long time, the boy came back again. I am sorry, boy, said the tree, but I have nothing left to give you. My apples are gone. 
my teeth are too weak for apples, said the boy. My branches are gone, said the tree. You cannot swing on them. I'm too old to swing on branches, said the boy. My trunk is gone, said the tree. You cannot climb. I'm too tired to climb, said the boy. I am sorry, sighed the tree. I wish that I could give you something, but I have nothing left. I'm just an old stump. I'm sorry. I don't need very much now, said the boy. Just a quiet place to sit and rest. I'm very tired. Well, said the tree, straightening herself up as much as she could. Well, an old stump is good for sitting and resting. Come, boy, sit down. Sit down and rest. And the boy did. And the tree was happy. The end. Thank you all so much for being such a great audience. Are you guys having fun today? Yeah, doing a lot of fun activities? Well, does anyone have any questions for me that you want to ask? Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to come up here, sweetie? <laughs> the question is, why is the tree a stump? <laughs> yeah, do you have a question? Do you want to answer? <laughs> why does the tree talk? Well, does anyone want to share what the point of the story was? Did anyone learn something from the story? Yeah? Sorry? <laughs> it's not real. Well, I think the point of the story was that the tree had given this boy so much, and we can all learn to give a little when we have something to give. All right, well, thank you guys, and I think I'd love to take a picture with you if you guys want. Yeah? Awesome. <laughs>